You know what? I've been trying to record this video for hours. People in the building are doing construction and they're hampering my productivity. You know what I mean? We're just gonna push through. If you hear any kind of noises in the back, know that there is some sort of building construction going on, but it's not gonna take away from you learning something. At this point, I feel like I've been talking about the cloud and cloud security for what seems to be years by now. But it has dawned on me that I have never actually spoken about and explained the concept of cloud computing. So I had a conversation with a friend and she was asking me, you keep talking about cloud security and you keep talking about cybersecurity and it's these rocket scientific concepts to me because she doesn't know what the cloud is. And I tried to explain to her that just by using your iPhone and using iCloud on your iPhone, you're using the cloud. And then she was shook. So this is basically the inspiration for this video. Today, I'm going to talk to you about what cloud computing is, the common use cases that you may not have thought of, how you're using it, and also help you to understand cloud computing so that you can explain it to others. If you don't know who I am, let's do a little bit of an introduction. So I am Venetia. I am a cloud security architect. I I am also a Microsoft MVP and I am a cyber security professional, probably not even exaggerating since birth. No, of course I'm exaggerating, but you get the point. Also, I am dabbling with the lighting and the camera and everything. I got a new camera and it's giving me so much headache. I feel like I am in a zone of like kind of figuring out tech things, even as a tech girly, sometimes tech things can be so complex but stick with me here and if you have any kind of input or knowledge about the lighting or audio or anything like that please help me out also if you like this video and this type of content then definitely be sure to subscribe and i'm saying that up front because i always forget to say that at the end but without any further ado let's get into this video so what exactly is cloud computing? Well, cloud computing is just the concept of bringing data and applications to you via accessibility over the internet. Now, what is that foreign statement that I just made? Basically, instead of having your data, your documents, your photos on your phone, you actually store these in the cloud these days if you use iCloud because physical devices just don't generally come with that much storage anymore and so a lot of the world has moved and evolved to cloud computing. All right, so the cloud refers to the servers that you access online to access any of your data or documents and any of the applications that's hosted on top of those servers. Let's make this a little bit more practical. So in the past, you would have a computer. So I have my MacBook here. You would have a computer and you would be saving basically all of your documents, data, files, photos, everything. You'd be installing local applications. Everything would be installed on your computer. Your computer needed to have a really big hard drive because of course, all of these things took up space and resources on your actual computer. These days, there are a lot of things that you are using within the cloud and you don't even know it. For example, iCloud, your emails, if you're using any form of Dropbox, or if you're using any application that you have to go to a link in a browser, that is because that application infrastructure is hosted elsewhere in someone else's data center, on someone else's computer, and you are accessing that via the cloud. So simply put, the cloud makes it really easy for you to access documents, information, applications via just having an internet connection really. And you can then store those documents there. And it also makes it much easier for multiple people to collaborate within one document because two people from two completely different places in the world can really turn on the internet, access that same document and then edit it, make changes, save it, do whatever they need to. To take this further, there are three main categories of cloud computing. This is SaaS, software as a service, PaaS, platform as a service, and IAS, infrastructure as a service. Now, from a SaaS perspective, most of us today use 
SaaS. This you can think of when you go onto your browser and you open Gmail and you're accessing your emails, that's a SaaS application. If you use Dropbox, that's a SaaS application. If you use different types of messaging like Slack, that's a SaaS application. So with SaaS, a lot of the responsibilities of this is with the cloud provider. The difference here is you have to make sure that you are able to securely access the application. So securely access your mailbox, you have a good password, you have multi-factor authentication enabled, and you are responsible for the data sitting within your mailbox or within your Google Drive account. Then we move to platform services. So platform services is where a cloud provider is able to host all of the infrastructure for you to build applications on top of. So this is really where developers thrive because they don't have to care about about any underlying network configuration, virtual machine configuration, operating systems, or anything like that. They simply want to use something like Elastic Beanstalk or something like that from AWS, where they are just going to deploy an application and they are gonna write some code and it's gonna run. Something that is also a good platform is the Power Platform, Power Automate from Microsoft perspective, where developers can really just build code logic and they can then use those platforms to execute different functions. And finally, the final category here is IaaS, which is infrastructure as a service. And this is where you are now utilizing more of the cloud providers underlaying infrastructure. Now, what that means is the cloud provider still hosts the servers and the capacity and everything like that. They still provide the underlying compute, the networking and all of that, but you have to deploy actual virtual machines on top of the cloud. You can select the operating system level and you can select what then runs on top of that and how things connect to that virtual machine. And this is basically the examples here is an Azure virtual machine, an AWS EC2 instance, or a Google Cloud Compute Engine. Those are some of the examples of IaaS. So ultimately, the cloud makes it much easier for us to access our information online, to collaborate online. It is scalable, it is flexible, we can use it, then we can turn it off. We don't have to invest in kind of hardware upfront. So there is a lot of benefits to cloud computing. But having said that, we have to ensure that we have proper security when we are using any of these cloud-based models. And that's where cloud security comes in. So if you follow along in the next video, I will tell you exactly what I do as a cloud security professional and why cloud security is important. Catch you next time. Bye.